Here's the photo I will be working from. I'm going to be looking at this on my phone while I draw. I'm just going to put this on the stand in front of me and get started. Now we're using two point perspective for this one, which means there's two vanishing points, one at either end of the hallway. So I'm starting with the corner of the halls where they meet. And then with my ruler, I'm looking at the photo to make sure I get the angle correct. But my vanishing points are outside of the page. So I want to make sure that I'm pivoting my ruler from the same point every time. So whichever line I started with, I generally want to pivot from wherever the end of my ruler is for this, somewhere outside of the page. And same thing on the right hand side, this is going to a different vanishing point. So these angles will both be going outward and slowly getting smaller as they get closer to the vanishing point. So this time I know generally where my horizon line is, where my eye level is, but I don't know exactly where my vanishing points are because they're outside of the paper. So this is a lot of looking at the photo, checking the angle, does it look right, and does it feel right when I pivot the ruler? So it didn't, I'm going to go back and fix it. It shouldn't be such an extreme angle from where I'm sitting. Now I'm going to give this hallway an end because I actually do see the wall of the sixth grade hallway behind this area. Um, and then over here there's lockers. There's also one of those pillars on the wall between the lockers as we often see. So I'm going to mark where the ends of my lockers are, where these pillars happen to be. Now, when you're working with two vanishing points, often things that are sticking off of the sides of the wall on the right hand side, you're going to be using the left vanishing point to find the correct angles. It'll be the same thing later on when we get to the ceiling tiles and the floor tiles. We'll use the vanishing point on the left for lines on the right and vice versa. Now there's some photos hanging up on the wall of the library here, so I'm using the vanishing point on the left. So any artwork, windows, doors that are flat on the wall, they will use the same vanishing point. But if it's sticking out, if it's three dimensional, you're going to end up using both. Now there are tiles on the wall, there's also a door, so I'm going to play around with the ruler, I'm going to rotate it from that pivot point where my vanishing point should be. I'm just going to make sure that all of these angles are correct. I'm going to add in the tile. And using the point where my tile stopped on this corner, I'm going to use that to help me find where it goes on the opposite wall. Lockers are a little bit higher than the tiles, so I'm going to pivot the ruler and draw the top of the lockers. Now your ruler should be completely vertical, parallel with the edge of the paper whenever you're making any vertical lines. So the edges of the locker, the edges of the pillar. You probably won't notice until your paper is farther away from you whether or not your line is straight or crooked, kind of off to the side. So definitely always stand up and take a look at your artwork from up above. You'll notice things that you don't see when you're sitting down.